Hi there, this is Andrew Renko from Creative Records Professional Recording Studio and today I want to show you a demonstration of uh, frequency response difference between such microphones as Rode NT1 and Audio-Technica 2035. So Rode NT1 is just, is just my new microphone and I wanted to make sure that it actually matches uh, the frequency response graph that is shown in the official manual. So these tests are actually volume matched already and from this test we, we should not just listen to it. Let's just check this out. We can hear that it differentiates uh, with how it sounds, but volume-wise, it's actually intact. They are, they are the same. So what I did, I tried to visualize the difference, and actually I got what I should have gotten, because the frequency response of Rode NT1 is actually the same as in their manual. In the left channel, we have Rode NT1 uh, noise, and uh, in the right, we have Audio Technica 2035, and we just uh, will be switching between these uh, noises. So this uh, one is Audio Technica and the second is uh, Rode NT1. So we can just look at the graph and make some decisions. So yeah, this basically looks just like uh, the frequency response in the official document, which I will show you right now. Here it is in the official document from their website. So this is the frequency graph and we can hear, I mean, hear and see that it pretty much responds to what it uh, looks like in the span analyzer. It matches what is mentioned in here and actually this roll-off matches too because I actually extended the region of uh, span analyzer to 25 kilohertz and we can see that this is the same. I don't know what this uh, peak is but probably some artifact maybe from recording or from PC I don't know. So Rode NT is really good microphone. I really like it and I really like the frequency response uh, curve that I get. It's not like saturated, bright, etc. This is really good for me personally. It's, this is just a universal microphone. I like this stuff. And the low end response is good too. But I need to mention that you will need to have some kind of low frequency roll-off like in here let me show you i have roll-off on 80 hertz and this is because uh, when you shake the microphone stand or etc this is just creates i mean this region below 80 hertz creates too much rumble this is too much but if you want you can just edit this region and with this you get some pleasant harmonics to your voice. Maybe if you need it, you should try it. But then you should be careful with your mic stand and be sure that there is no any low end noises around you because microphone will absolutely pick them up. Thank you for watching. This was Studio Quartier Records. Goodbye.